Hey guys, so this year I wanted to crochet my prom dress. So I want to take you guys along with me with like my journey of like designing it and everything. So I'm gonna like sketch out what I want and I'm gonna show you guys and then I'm gonna show you guys the process. I already started making it and I'm gonna just wait till you see the sketches and then I'll show you my progress and yeah. So honestly, this was a pretty bad sketch, but it's just so you guys have a visual of what I want. So like, I know y'all have seen that, those butterfly crochet tops. So it's gonna be like that. And then like a mermaid, <laughs> a mermaid like not tail, you know, mermaid style dresses like that, but with the butterfly top. And I'll show you guys what I did so far because <laughs> I'm so excited, but yeah, I know I'm doing it pretty early, but probably not gonna post this video until like it's prom season. So yeah. Actually, I'll just show you guys once I finish the top, but just so you guys have a visual, this is the yarn. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, but a quick backstory. So I know you're wondering, why do I wanna do this like specific style for my prom dress? And like recently y'all know, that Netflix came out with the re- well not a reboot but like kind of a Winx Club thing but like a new one and I watched that and then like ever since then I've been re-watching the original series so I've been seeing their outfits when they transform into fairies and stuff and that really inspired me so it's gonna be like Winx Club but real life like Winx Club but what the outfit should have been in the new show but yeah I'm so excited to show you guys but I'll check up on you after I make some like real progress and finish this top so here's the progress on the top so far it's a butterfly shape it is bigger than i wanted it to be but i like how it turned out and yeah here's me just showing the top again from a different angle and then here's the back it is it does have like a lace up a cross crisscross yeah a crisscross back and yeah in this clip, I'm just showing y'all what it looks like laying down flat on the ground so you can tell that it's a butterfly. So this is the finished top part of the skirt. I'm gonna do like a lace bottom. Here's me just working on the bottom lace of the dress. So I'm just gonna do a little time lapse because it did take a while. It took about six hours probably, I don't know. Then I just clipped it onto the bottom so I could see what it looked like. And I'm gonna do that all the way around the bottom and make it wider so it'll be more of a mermaid style. Hey guys, so it is the next day and unfortunately last night I ran out of the yarn I was using. So I need to go to Hobby Lobby to get some more, but yesterday was Sunday, so I couldn't go. And then today, like, it's the start of a new week and it's not sell week anymore. Cause I don't know if it's at every Hobby Lobby, but at my Hobby Lobby, every other week, yarn is 30% off. So I was like, prom isn't anytime soon and i'm not gonna um i'm not gonna pay five dollars for each roll because i need like three rolls and i'd rather pay, pay the 350 when it's 30 percent off so i'm gonna wait until next monday to finish this but i'm gonna show you guys my progress so far so yeah i think i also recorded a few clips with it on too so i'm just gonna show it like lay down on the ground so this is like the middle part of the skirt and the bottom is gonna be this like flowery lace. But I, you can, this is where I ran out. I couldn't finish connecting it cause I didn't have enough yarn. But the plan is I'm gonna make this. Well, this would be enough if I just wanted to go sh like straight down, but I want it to be wider. And, sorry, my alarm started going off cause like I have class soon, but like I want it to be wider at the bottom. So I'm proud, this is probably just gonna be half of the front. So then it's wider as it goes down. So it's like a mermaid style. So I'm gonna need like, this is one roll, one roll of yarn. So I need to make three more of these sections 
one more for the front and then two for the back and then yeah that's how the bottom of this dress is looking and then i have to sew it together with the top and that should be good so yeah i might get a fourth roll just so i can have enough to sew everything together because i forgot about that part but yeah so the next time you see me will probably be next monday when i get the more yarn if i can resist not getting it yet but i'm gonna try to because i'm always rushing so i'm gonna instead just make some other things maybe make some other videos and yeah hey guys so i kind of lied um i'm at hobby lobby right now to get some more yarn because i had to come and pick up some stuff for my mom so i mean might as well finish my dress as soon as i can so yeah i'm gonna go in there grab my yarn grab some paint for my mom and then when i get home we're gonna get back to working on this dress maybe finish today or tomorrow sometime this week though and i'm excited to see the finished product and i'll show you guys of course because that's what this video is about but yeah see you in hobby lobby Hey guys, so I just got out of Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx and Five and Lure. But here's my haul from Hobby Lobby. So I really only got what I said I was gonna get. So I got four rows of these just to ensure that I don't run out this time. And that's all they had on the shelves anyway. So I got all of that. And then these paint things from my mom. And yeah, so I'll catch y'all when I have some updates on progress. And yeah, bye. So here's a quick little update. Um, this is how much of the bottom, sorry. This is how much of the bottom I have done right now. And you, I don't know if you guys showed the detail, but like it's little flowers and it's so cute. So yeah, I think this is how much I'm gonna do in the front pieces. I'll show y'all a better view in a second, but yeah. I did this. Now I'm on my second new roll of yarn. So it should take one more, more after this, but I might just use this one and see like how layered it is. Cause right now this goes all the way around my legs, both of them. But I want it to be not straight. I want it to go out a little more. Let me explain this at a better angle, hold on. Okay, so we finally, I only ended up using like the rest of one more roll. So I have two, two plus this much left still. But I think this is long enough for the bottom. Cause it was getting pretty long. I didn't want it to be too heavy. I'm not even, y'all know you can't see it. But now it's mainly the construction part. I didn't think how I'm gonna like make this a circle because like I want to keep the pattern going but I'm not sure how I can attach it so I guess the pattern will be off a little bit but I'm gonna make this a circle first and then I'm gonna attach it to the top part I know it looks really small but I promise it stretches out and then I have to sew the top part on, but first I'm gonna do the skirt and then I'll see how I'm gonna sew the top line. And I'll come back to you once I do that. Okay, I know the lighting is horrible, but I finished sewing the skirt, like, I haven't tried it on yet. I want to get y'all like my first reaction on camera. So I'm going to put this on and the top so I can see where to sew that. And then we're going to be done. Yeah. Thank y'all so much for tuning into this video. I'm gonna take some good pictures and I'll insert them now.
channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.